In this video, I'll be talking about meningitis. You know, is it contagious? As well as some tips and ideas on not getting it. Now, before I do begin, down below, you'll notice there's a link where I'm giving away a free video based guide on shopping for and using various supplements and in herbal products. Now, just so we're all on the same page, meningitis is a condition in which someone's protective lining on their uh, brain, as well as their spinal cord, uh, becomes all inflamed and damaged. And this protective lining is called uh, meninges, just how the name meningitis came about. Now, inflammation is really a process in which the body tries to heal an injury, but also causes damage in the process. It's like main pain with arthritis, it's the redness with sunburn, swelling with an injury, and whatnot. Now, what causes this ailment, meningitis, is usually the result of a viral or bacterial infection. Um, since viruses and bacteria can be contagious, this means that, well, this ailment can be contagious too. Now, having said that, there are other ways someone can get meningitis. Uh, for example, someone can get this problem through an injury, cancer, and even certain drugs and medication can cause it. And, of course, if that's the case, then it's not contagious if it's caused from uh, you know, like a prescription drug or something. Now when someone gets infected with a virus or bacteria, the first thing the enemy wants to do is going to want to duplicate and replicate itself. Now viruses, they're not even really alive. They're just like a tiny little thing with a bunch of DNA in there. And that's it. And what they do is they kind of come in contact with the host cell, invade, and then reproduce that way. And the host cell can make just tons of viruses. Bacteria is a little different. They're also very tiny as well, um, but they can reproduce on their own and as well as eat on their own, which makes them kind of dangerous. But thanks to antibiotics, you know, humans have an easier time killing them off. Okay. Now, now if one of the viruses or bacteria gets in the lungs of a person, then it's more easily to be spread. Someone can cough, sneeze, talk, and the little droplets of the virus or bacteria then can transport to somebody else and they can get it. Another way someone can, uh, can get a virus or bacteria is through kissing somebody as well as touching a surface and then touching their face. So, couple ideas you definitely want to wash your hands a lot and that definitely helps don't touch your face because it's a weak leak in your immune system plus there's tons of herbal herbal remedies out there and supplements that can boost your immune system like Fort Knox in America uh, some examples of this would be like uh, garlic great for your immune system turmeric olive leaf extract black cumin seeds are just amazing um, and if you're interested in herbs and supplements, like I talked about earlier, I do have this whole video guide that can share some great tips on shopping for them, choosing them, using them, um, as well as throw some ideas out there and other alternative health ideas. And uh, the cool thing is that it's completely free. So why not check it out? You can uh, ch learn more about this free guide by just simply clicking on the link uh, right below the video that I made for you. Well, um, I hope this video might have helped a couple people. I appreciate your, your time. Uh, please leave a thoughts, uh, any comments you may have are always welcome. Till next time, cheers and take care.